The commissioning of the new Union Gandhi 220 kV double circuit tower line is meant to add resiliency and redundancy to the existing electricity grid. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez said the new double circuit line will operate simultaneously among those already on the grid. It will serve as a secondary backup to take electricity from the country's largest electricity generating company, Trinidad Generation Unlimited or TGU in La Brea, to TNTX transmission substation in Gandhi Village and distributed across the country. The new tower line will also provide power to customers when routine maintenance work is done on the other lines. The existing line was proven very difficult for maintenance because it was the singular line that was transporting electricity from this main plant to the rest of the grid. And therefore, a line that was 10 years old, um, TNTech was finding it very difficult to undertake the necessary routine maintenance because obviously it would have resulted in um, a mass blackout throughout the entire country. So now that this new line has been commissioned, TNTech can now proceed to undertake the necessary uh, maintenance work. TGU is currently contracted to generate 720 megawatts, but Minister Gonzalez revealed that only 600 megawatts is shared with TNTEC at this time. With the new line, however, the full capacity will be distributed. The minister added that there will also be a reduction in gas consumption as TGU makes use of waste heat in its operations. And with this line coming into existence and given the technology that exists on this plant, it improves the gas efficiency. And, um, and reduces the amount of gas that is needed to generate that volume of electricity. So the country is going to benefit to the tune of um, to $80 million um, annually from gas consumption. The new Union Gandhi double circuit tower line cost $72 million. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.